Hello everyone, Creative Inners here and today we will learn this beautiful 3D looking infographic slide and if you like it, please subscribe to our channel and join the membership. So before starting the tutorial, let's dissect this slide and just understand the shapes and the objects that we have placed on this slide. So it has got this title at the top. Here you can see it's pretty easy, just a text box. These are the icons that you can place and these are the text headings and the subheadings and this is also a text and here you can see if you if you just take a look at this line here so we have inserted a background here a nice corporate background with these diamond cut edges and now comes these five blocks you can start with the center block so this is the first block and we will design because it's pretty easy then we will create these two blocks these two and the fourth and fifth are just the copies of the first and second block but we have rotated these horizontally that's it and also we have designed these shadows if you can see here this one is like this this is slightly angled towards the center and this is pretty straight and these are just the copies so this is the basically you know overall slide and this will really help you to understand the overall tutorial that you will cover now so let's jump into the tutorial and let's learn how to create this beautiful slide so first of all you need to insert a square here and I have placed some guides to help me to design this slide so align it to center and now the next step is to insert this another shape but before that let's zoom in yes and now let's insert this shape and rotate it vertically and now you need to match the edges of this shape with the square like this remove the outline and make it more you know slanted the sides and slightly change the color for now we will color it later and now just duplicate it and let's create the second block the first block is done it was that easy now we need to create a second block and the perspective is quite different from the top because we are viewing it from the top that's the kind of perspective look we have to create and for that you need to invert this shape and make sure it matches the edges edge from the left of the square and similarly on the right now duplicate this shape and change its color so that it's easy to select now select both the shapes align top and move this second shape the topmost layer of and move it to the right and adjust it with the square now select both the shapes align middle and go to merge shapes option and union now this is one shape and pick the eyedropper tool and change the color for now so this is the front side of this block now now we need to similarly create the right side of this block now insert this shape rotate to the left like this and align it with the square shape change its color so that we can you know select it and adjust its height and width matching the shape at the bottom and the square as well If you see the top edge I have 
matched with the guide that I have placed and again duplicate it like we did for the bottom shape align to the left and now match the angle of this shape at the bottom towards the bottom with the bottom shape like this you can always zoom in now it is perfect now select both these shapes go to shape format and union now change its color to something dark blue and we will change it later so the second block is also ready and similarly we can create the third block but this time the angles will be more smaller more fine for the first shape the angles were pretty straight for the second it was a bit slanted and for the third we have to make it more slanted flip it horizontally like this remove its outline fill different color and place it here and you can always place the guides if if you need some you know help in alignment and the placement of the objects and we have made it more slanted than the second shape if you can see the angle is much more fine and similarly duplicate the shape and match with the shape that we have created like this so select both the shapes go to shape format and press union now change the color and it was that easy so so now you can group these shapes together now comes the next part which is the shadows we will first create the shadows and then we will create the duplicate copies of the first and second block so this is the kind of shape we will create for the shadows and we need a linear gradient and the gradient flow should be from top to bottom and for the second gradient stop increase the transparency move the slider to the left and for the first gradient stop also increase the transparency to like 70 to 80 percent and just see here and experiment here how the shadow looks so this is the shadow and now we will create the second shadow here and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't just press the subscribe button just duplicate this shadow place it on the next block and match its width and now we need to change its angle so for that we need to edit the points because here we are talking about the perspective so the angle will be more towards the left like this and similarly for the third shape we need to edit the points and move the edges more towards left first match the edges at the top and then you have to edit the points and move these points to the left you can always zoom in or zoom out as per the requirement so designing shadows are you know uh, is a very easy task in powerpoint you just need to edit the points and this is how you can create shadows with the help of gradient colors and now you need to group the items the block and the shadow together so that we can easily move them around and duplicate them so now let's change the color and we have already placed the color palette at the top so the main color will be at the top and the darker color will be towards the bottom and towards the right we will place 
much more darker color of the same color so we have to fill the you know different tones of the same color but towards the darker side on all the three sides and you can always use eyedropper tool to fill the color and you can pick the colors and for the center block we have only two sides so this is easy go to more color and move the slider down to make it darker so our first three blocks are ready and for the fourth and fifth we will be we will play smarter and just flip this horizontally and just place them at their designated spaces and then change the color again the steps are same just move the slider down and similarly towards the left as well you can follow the same steps more color but slightly more darker and here comes the last block select the bottom part of the block move the slider downwards and the left part again fill the latest color and then move the slider downwards so the main infographic is ready and now we just have to make it content rich add some text and icons and let's just duplicate this top layer and draw this custom shape and you can design any custom shape you want so this is this is just for the static purpose i want to create some you know light effect on the shape and just duplicate this shape and place on all the blocks just make sure it is well lined towards the top of the square now we have placed the shape on all the blocks fill white color increase the transparency and you can keep it between 60 to 80 percent and this is how it will look so these kind of things add realism in the design it makes it look more 3d more realistic so that's the approach we have tried here now let's insert some text this is the easiest part but but the most important part because text styling is very important so we have placed the first text box slightly into the transparency so that it blends into the background and now duplicate just change the count here place the third one here make sure it is aligned similarly for the fourth and here you can see the text is not visible so we will change the color to black and increase the transparency and duplicate for the fifth as well now select all these align middle alignment is very important now create a background here and you need to draw this rectangular shape remove the outline and we will add a nice image but before that let's add few icons and just insert the icons as per the content and place the icons at the top and once the icons are in place just select all and slightly reduce the size and align these so this is how the icons will look once these are all arranged 
Now let's add some heading and subheadings for the content and change the font to monster at semi bold for the heading and regular for the content or the description. So you can always download this slide from the G drive link provided in the video description and then you can try and learn how to create these 3D looking shapes and this will really help you to learn different tricks in PowerPoint and in the meantime you know you can always subscribe and like this video the more likes we will get YouTube will recommend this video to more number of users. So all the headings and the content are in place. Now let's insert a nice background image. So Office 65 ha has this beautiful option to insert stock images. So this is the image that we have picked and we have placed it at the back. Just set the offset value for the bottom so that it doesn't look stretched. Slightly increase the transparency and your slide is ready. So this is the final output. I hope you will like it. So this looks really beautiful. Just download it, use it, learn and we will see you guys in our next video. Till then, bye bye and please do not forget to subscribe.